done us camped here on his way to Winterfell. And that's a good thing. He was the most experienced commander in Westeros. He chose this place for a reason. Those mountains are a natural fortification. There's a stream down there for the horses. You're not staying here long. Another storm could hit any day. All right. The snows defeated Stannis as much as the Boltons did. We have to march on Winterfell now, or we still can. 2,000 wildlings, 200 hornwoods, 143 masons. 62 Mormons. It's not what we hoped for. But we still have a chance. If we're careful and smart. For oh, fuck's sake. So he's your most trusted advisor now? Because he secured 62 men from a 10-year-old. So Davos is the reason I'm standing here talking to you, and he served Stannis for years. Stannis, who lost the Blackwater, who murdered his own brother, who doesn't have a head. It's not enough. We need more men. There's no time. If we went down to Castle Kerman, I know that Lord Kerman... We fight with the army we have. I've said no three times already. I have a signed letter from your niece, Sansa Stark. I haven't seen her since she was a child. I don't know her signature. I don't know you. And I will not surrender. Double the guards tonight. The Kingslayer wants to try it. I can feel it. As I have said, my name is Brienne. Yes, Brienne of Tarth. I know your father, good man. He always spoke highly of and you. And if he were here now, I'd tell him the same I'm telling you. If you think I'm abandoning my family seat on the Kingslayer's word of honor, you're a bloody fool. Riverrun cannot stand against the Lannisters and the Frey. We can stand longer than your one-handed friend thinks we can. He's not my friend. No? Who gave you permission to cross the siege line and enter the castle? Who gave you that sword with the gold lion on the pommel? Sir Jamie kept his word to your niece, Catelyn Stark. He sent me to find Sansa to help her as Catelyn wanted. He gave me this sword to protect her. That is what I have done, and I will continue to do until the day I die. She's exactly like her mother. I don't have enough men to help her take Winterfell. You have more than she does. She wants her home back, I understand that. But this is my home. And if Jamie Lannister wants it, he can bloody well take it the way everyone else does. Find the maester. We need to get a raven north to Sansa. What should I write? Tell her I failed.
my beloved wife. I've missed you terribly. Thank you for returning, Lady Bolton's sake. Now, dismount and kneel before me. Surrender your army and proclaim me the true Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. I will pardon you for deserting the Night's Watch. I will pardon these treasonous lords for betraying my house. Come, bastard. You don't have the men, you don't have the horses, and you don't have Winterfell. Why lead those poor souls into slaughter? There's no need for a battle. Get off your horse and kneel. I'm a man of mercy. You're right. There's no need for a battle. Thousands of men don't need to die. Only one of us. Let's end this the old way. You against me. I keep hearing stories about you, bastard. The way people in the North talk about you, you're the greatest swordsman who ever walked. Maybe you are that good. Maybe not. I don't know if I'd beat you, but I know that my army will beat yours. I have 6,000 men. You have, what, half that? Not even? Aye, you have the numbers. Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? <laughs> He's good. Very good. Tell me, will you let your little brother die because you're too proud to surrender? How do we know you have him? You want to say you're going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. Sleep well. She's a fine woman, your sister. I look forward to having her back in my bed. And you're all fine looking men. My dogs are desperate to meet you. I haven't fed them for seven days. They're ravenous. I wonder which parts they'll try first. Your eyes. Your balls. We'll find out soon enough. In the morning, then. Bastard.